back to another video. So today we're back at Circuit of the Americas and this is a video right after the day of the previous video that I just did. That video was absolutely crazy. So if y'all haven't checked it out, be sure that y'all go, go check it out after or before this video. But yeah, we're at Fanatic GT and we're gonna be checking out some insane racing. We also got Hypercar Invitational here. There's an Apollo IE from last night and a Pagani Zonda R. There's also Wyra R's here. There's gonna be so many really crazy cars. So if y'all haven't already, turn on post notifications, subscribe, like the videos, do all that stuff. And yeah, let's pretty much get to it. here at the GT circuit and here basically on the other side of the paddocks they have the Pagani Amola the second car ever delivered to the US and then we also have the Pagani Zonda R this thing just looks so damn crazy it also has this Zonda R big old box right there and then we also have the purple Apollo IE this car last night I wasn't really able to see it that good because there was so many people basically walking around but yeah, check this car out. This Apollo IE has got to be one of my favorite cars ever. It's just so aggressive. The body lines are so sharp, but so smooth at the same time. It's just unbelievable. And then check it, check it out. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's purple carbon fiber that actually goes like fading upwards onto the roof. It's really light down here, but up top towards the roof and where the roof scoop is, it is like much darker. Just check that out. It's such a ridiculous looking car though. Hopefully we can actually hear this car later on and have it ripping along on track right beside that Zonda R. We have the Koenigsegg Regera exposed carbon fiber and the exposed carbon fiber McLaren Senna. These two are absolutely insane. This is my first Koenigsegg ever. Just check this out. Ridiculous. This is the Koenigsegg Regera Raven. Super sick. Just check this out. You can tell I'm an absolute addict for these cars. They're just so damn ridiculous. Oh my lord. Carbon fiber wheels, carbon fiber everything. if y'all just caught that but that uh ford explorer over there whatever that is almost hit the mclaren senna in the back jesus christ and then also showing up we got the exposed carbon fiber mclaren senna damn it even has the signature of art and senna right there on the body panel man this weekend you guys is just absolutely insane the amount of hypercars that i'm seeing today it's just some that i've never been able to see in my whole life i've seen them on videos and on videos they look super crazy but in person seeing the apollo ie the zonda r the pagani utopia the koenigsegg regera and the mclaren senna i've seen senna's before but all these other four cars are brand new to me they're just such special cars, super expensive as well. Like an exposed carbon fiber Regera, you don't see that often. You don't see an Apollo IE hardly ever because there's only 10 in the world. A Zonda R, you only see those in track days and special track days, not your average track day. And then the Pagani Utopia, that's the second US spec in the world basically. It's super crazy, but yeah, just insane to be able to see these cars here. So currently we have all the race cars parking up over here in the back of Coda. I'm not really sure why. I, I think they're gonna take some photos or something. I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna take advantage of this moment right now since they're basically out in the open. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a few montages and let's get to it. So check this out. They're about to start up all of the race cars and start heading back onto the paddocks. But yeah, check this out. I don't know if Travis is gonna get in trouble right now because they just kicked everyone out from being in the middle of where the cars are. Look, watch, he's gonna get in trouble. Watch, watch, watch. Oh no, never mind. He didn't get in trouble, but yeah. Let's check out all of these cars going back onto the paddocks. They have some BMWs, Mercedes AMGs, Corvette CARs. There's just so many really insane race cars here today. Damn, 
that Porsche sounded so sick. Oh lord, I'm gonna fall. The C8 Z06. Ferrari 296 GT3. Alright you guys, so we're at this really crazy bridge where we're able to basically have the cars passing above us and it looks super crazy and it's super insane being able to listen to these cars. Right now I don't have any ear protection because they're not that crazy loud, but later on with whenever the hyper cars start coming out, they are going to get crazy. Invitational section and some of the cars that we have here are the Huracan STO that has this insane wrap one of the craziest wraps in all of Austin and we also have the full carbon fiber KTM Expo this thing looks super damn crazy I think I've only seen an Expo once sitting still at a car show and once again I'm seeing it still here wait a minute what's that Regera doing I just saw it basically he hit a switch and then the mirrors went in. That's pretty cool. Oh my God. So we just had Yellow pull up in his Pagani Wyra BC Roadster. This thing looks freaking insane. Check this out. When do you ever see a Pagani Wyra BC just showing up to a meet and <laughs> chilling, bro? Full exposed carbon fiber as well. Oh damn, y'all see that little winglet in the back lift up? That's so sick. Well, we basically came back just in time to see the wires show up. So here in a bit we're gonna have all the 
these hypercars starting up are not all of them I think some of them are actually just gonna stay under the tent They were just here for show and display But there's gonna be some hypercars like the Koenigsegg Regera, the Pagani Zonda R And I think the Apollo IE is also going out on track But yeah, right now we're gonna get those cars starting up and give us a few revs and then we're gonna check them out on track Check this out you guys, so right now the cars that are going to be running are the Hypercar Series cars which is going to be the KTM Expo, Huracan STO, even though these aren't Hypercars, they're going to include them with the Hypercar selection of cars that are going to go out. It's going to be two Huracan STOs, an XJ220, a DBS, and then a Pagani Huayra BC. And then here comes the LaFerrari. I think that one's also going to be on track. The Zonda just went to go get gas right now. And I think we're going to have the Apollo IE starting up in a bit. Check it out. The Koenigsegg Regera. Fully exposed carbon fiber. This car looks insane. Oh man, I didn't even notice when the Zonda got over here. But check that out. We also got the McLaren Senna in exposed carbon fiber as well. Those three cars right there are just some insane dream cars. Man, it's crazy that with these race cars, you have to cool them off so much, even when they're just going to be sitting for five minutes. This guy has to be blowing this uh, vacuum air conditioning thing to the intercoolers of the Pagani Zonda. And yeah, that just goes to prove how much of a race car this car really is. And I don't know if y'all noticed, but it has like light blue accents inside of the headlights. That looks so cool. All right, we're starting this off with the Koenigsegg Regera. Oh man, here we go, you guys. What is it called? Oh man, here we got the LaFerrari and then the Pagani Huayra BC and the Aston Martin DBS. All right, you guys, so I don't know how, but I was able to get myself up to the top paddock right here on the side where the paddocks are. And it's gonna be so cool because we got the hypercar session going on right now and we're gonna watch them all rip by this front straightaway. We're gonna watch a Koenigsegg Regera, a McLaren P, or not a P1, a McLaren, uh, what is it called? Uh, man, I can't remember. McLaren Senna, there you go. We're gonna have a, a Senna. We're also gonna be having a Pagani Zonda R. That's one of the loudest cars in the world and we're about to watch it rip by. Not even gonna speak whenever these cars are passing by they sound so good that they just deserve to speak for themselves
sounds like there's something loose on that Pagani. It sounds like it's just whacking around. And I'm not really sure why, but the Koenigsegg Regera has come into the pits. Right now, the LaFerrari just came into the pits as well to pick up a passenger. I'm not sure if the Regera is going to be doing the same thing or what. Well, I'm guessing the Koenigsegg Regera's time on the track is done. It just pulled off a track, and I'm guessing he's not going to be going out anymore today. Well, that's pretty much going to do it for this video today.